Hi there. Today we'll be taking a look at the automation module in Sin 7 Core. There's a number of different features included in this module that our customers like, including automated report scheduling, mailing lists, notifications, and automated workflows. We'll take a look at how to set a few of those up today, and we'll also take a look at some of the other options that do exist. If we come to settings, we can go ahead and choose our automations here, and we'll see our list that does include that mailing list, notifications, report scheduling, reminders, workflows, and task settings. If we look at one of our more popular options, I'll go ahead and start with our notifications, which do include things surrounding our customers, suppliers, sales, products, purchases, B2B portal, stock, tasks, production, and our return module. One of our more popular options is the minimum stock hit. So this would allow for us to notify some of our team members when our minimum thresholds are hit. Once we have these settings in place, we can go ahead and mark this as active and save our notifications automation. If we go back to our automation, we can also take a look at things like our report scheduling. So with this, we might want to choose a specific name and we'll go ahead and choose one of our more popular reports, which is our sales order detail report. saved. We'll go ahead and see it listed here. And we'll go ahead and move back to our automations where we can now maybe take a look at one of our automated workflows. When we think about a workflow, we will want to decide if we want it to be surrounding a sale, a purchase, a lead, or an opportunity. And we'll go ahead and give it a name. So we'll save that and it's going to pop open some different options for us. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our parameters. certainly quite a bit more automations that exist. And I do encourage you to reach out for a demo 